5.5 write equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. So in this lesson we're going to talk about two key things, parallel and perpendicular lines. And we're going to learn how we can tell if the lines are parallel or perpendicular by just looking at their slopes. So you'll remember that parallel lines look like, kind of like this would be one example, where the two lines, they just never run into each other or intersect. They never hit each other as long as they go on. Perpendicular lines, on the other hand, they meet, and when they meet, they meet at a right angle, which we put a little sign like that, which means they are perpendicular or they intersect at a right angle. So now I said today we're going to learn about the slopes. If the lines are parallel, then their slopes are the same. For an example, I might have y equals 3x plus 5 and y equals 3x plus 8. For example, their slopes, when we put them in y equals mx plus b, remember the slope is your m. In y equals mx plus b, the m's have to be the same. Keep in mind, you must first put everything in y equals mx plus b form. Don't forget that. Don't go trying to compare m's slopes if it's not in y equals mx plus b form because the slope is only what's in front of the x if it's in y equals mx plus b form. Okay. Perpendicular lines, the slopes are negative reciprocals. Now some of you probably know exactly what I mean and some of you are probably like, what do you mean negative reciprocals? That just means negative and then you flip it over. So for example, y equals 3x plus 5. Well, the negative reciprocal of 3 is negative 1 third because I flip it over and technically this is 3 over 1 remember so I just take the negative and I flip it it doesn't matter what I add it could add any number there just look at the slopes another example is like 2 fifths x plus 3 I flip that Oh, it doesn't matter what I put here. You might be wondering how I got these. Totally random. I just chose them. The important thing is just to look at the slopes. So in parallel lines, they are exactly the same. And in perpendicular lines, they're negative reciprocals of one another. And that's the key part of this whole lesson we're going to do today. So the first example asks us to write an equation of the line passing through negative 3, negative 5, so we know a point, that is parallel to this line. Parallel, remember, just means that the slopes are the same. Yay, so I know my slope should be 3. That's all I know because it said it's parallel to this line. So all I know is that my slope should be 3 and it should pass through this point. And now we're back to what we were doing 
last lesson in 5.2 where we said, well, y equals mx plus b, y equals m is 3, x plus b, we need to find our b using this point here. So our y was negative 5 and our x was negative 3. So we have negative 5 equals negative 9 plus b. Then we got to get the b on a side all by itself. So you have 4 equals b. And our equation and our final answer is just y equals 3x plus 4. And so that is the equation of the line passing through this point that is parallel to that line. Our next, next example asks us to determine which lines are parallel or perpendicular. And so what did I say our first step was? First, put equations in y equals mx plus b. Well, we better do that. So a, lucky us, it's already in y equals mx plus b. The second one, remember our first step is always get, a, get the y's on a side all by itself. So we better get rid of this x, put it over to the other side. So we have 5y equals negative x plus 2, and now we can divide everything by 5. So we have y equals, well, we have negative 1 over 5 x plus 2 fifths. All right, so all we've done is gotten b into y equals mx plus b. We haven't answered our question yet. While we're at it, let's please get c in y equals mx plus b. Again, first, get a y on a side all by itself. So let's get this 2x over on the other side. Do I really need to write plus zero? No, so I'm not going to write it. So now let's divide both sides by negative 10. And so we get y equals 2 divided by 10. Negative 2 over 10x. And please let's simplify that. We can divide the top and the bottom by 2. Okay, so now we have all of our equations in y equals mx plus b. This was a, this is b, and this is c. So now all we have to do is look at the slopes. Slope, slope. And so we can say, well, a is perpendicular, and you can just use this for perpendicular. It's a shortcut. to both B and C because its slope is a negative reciprocal of that one and the negative reciprocal of that one. And um, B and C are actually parallel. They have the same slopes. B is Parallel, doesn't that look like parallel lines? That's the abbreviation for parallel, and I'm not just making these up. Parallel to C. And that's it. That's all I can say. So that's my answer. Example 3 says determine whether the lines are parallel. First step, put it in y equals mx plus b. We can't do anything until we've done that. So our y is already on a side all by itself, so this equation is pretty nice. All we have to do is divide everything by 12. And so we get y equals negative 7 over 12x plus 3. 42 divided by 12 is 3. Three. And then in B, we have to divide everything by 11. 
and so we get y equals 16 over 11 x minus and I can't divide 52 over 11 to get a nice number so I just leave it can't reduce that at all and then I look at it and I say well this slope and this slope are definitely not the same so my answer is just no way they aren't perpendicular either they're neither neither parallel nor perpendicular in fact Write an equation of the line that passes through 4, negative 5, okay, we have a point, and is perpendicular to the line y equals 2x plus 3. So what should our slope be? Remember, this is 2 over 1, so our slope of the perpendicular line, take the negative and flip it over. So then we go back, y equals mx plus b. We need an equation. y equals the slope is negative a half now for our perpendicular line. And we have a point, negative 5 equals negative 1 half times 4 plus b. Negative 5 equals, well, this is 4 over 1, so we can cross those out, get a 2 on the top, negative 1 times 2 is just negative 2, then I need to be on a side all by itself, so add 2 to both sides, and my answer is y equals m x minus 3. Example 5 says, are the lines parallel or perpendicular? We can't do anything until we get it in y equals mx plus b form. So, let's do that here. We have to get a y on a side all by itself. Get the x over on the other side. And then divide everything by 2. So we have y equals negative 1 half x minus 12 divided by 2 is 6. And um, part b, they already have a y on a side all by itself, so all I have to do is divide everything by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, and I get y equals 3 halves x minus 4. Well, are these parallel? Are the slopes the same? No, definitely not. Are the slopes negative reciprocals? No, they're not. The negative reciprocal of this would have just been 2. And that's not 2. So are the lines parallel or perpendicular? No, neither. And so that's our answer. And that's it.